Okay, so we're gaming now. They're taking their first five minutes of gaming. And we've talked about protagonists and antagonists. And so they are working on protagonists and antagonists now. So we remember the antagonist is bad guy, protagonist, good guy, or we could flip it on the side for, I don't know, mega mind or something like that. So you guys are doing um, a very interesting plot twist. Keep going. Um, if you were going to do like a hide and seek, what type of a genre would this narrative be written as? Well, if you're hiding and seeking, a narrative is a story. So you're gonna, so if you you're a first person, I'm looking at life. A life, you could do a life. What what else would you do? You think it would be funny? Could you make it funny? Could you make it scary? A thriller, maybe su suspenseful. So as you are working, and you're going through this particular, because they these boys have chosen to do Minecraft in their group. So think about if you want your narrative to be funny. Do you want it suspenseful? Do you want it to be a mystery? What are you hoping to get out of this? Okay, you want a mystery. Okay, that's going to help you shape a little bit of what you're writing. David, what do you want? Thriller, mystery, comedy, love story? Horror. You want a horror story? Nathan? Comedy. comedy. Okay, so we have, we have comedy, we have horror story, and we have, what, do, what were you? Who are you? So he's. I was. Mystery. So you, we have a mystery, we have a horror story, and we have a comedy. So this is going to be very interesting how you guys bring these about. Okay, so now it is time for you to pause where you're at and go to the part of your graphic organi organizer that says protagonist. And that is you, okay? So you can literally put your character's name as who you are, as your name. Well, actually, that's why we're coming up with different parts. You were playing, and so whoever you were on your computer, you're the protagonist. Yes, so we are creating, so you're each gonna have different, you're each gonna be your own protagonist. So, you were the seeker, right, Chase? Okay, since you were the seeker, who is your antagonist? Who's against you? One of those. So you can choose one or the other to be your antagonist, or you can choose something that was on the game. You guys may have had a creeper or a enderman or whatever. So same thing goes for you. Who, who is your antagonist? Okay, but it could also be David. Because possibly David could be trying to trip you up so you didn't win. So you choose one of the other person to be your antagonist. Make sense? Okay. So now you have you for the protagonist, and yet you have your antagonist, right? So what I want you to do is give me some descriptions of their character traits. Okay? So start with you. How did you play the game? Were you a strong player? What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? So let's say, Jace. For you, you were the seeker, right? Okay. Did you get lost? Okay. Include that. Uh, what about you, Nathan? Okay. Great. He said no armor and he was defenseless. That starts a good place for a protagonist. A lot of stories take those protagonists and they go full circle by the time the story is done. So you may want to do that with your story. Okay. Now move to your antagonist. What are you going to say about your antagonist? Okay, Jace was armored and he had a sword. So that means that you, we have a protagonist who's at a loss and we have an antagonist who, you know, is, is, is better armed and going somewhere. Okay, so now one more thing before you go. I want you to give these people descriptions. Not the descriptions of the person you wrote down. Not your own descriptions. Describe how you think that person would be. So, Jace, you wrote down about your protagonist what? I mean, uh, Nathan, what did you write? He was armored and he had a sword. 
So if you were going to think, okay, my antagonist was armored and had a sword. Okay. So what do you see that person? If all you know about it is they're armored and they have a sword, how do you see that person in your brain? Okay. Give me a description. Do the same thing for your protagonist. So maybe you say I was defenseless and I didn't have I didn't have any defenses. So how would you in your brain, how would you see that person? I would think, well, maybe they maybe at this point they're, they're weak. Maybe they they have been have, you know, they're tired, maybe their face looks tired, something like that, because they're at a weakened state. It doesn't mean they have to stay there. Maybe they're young. So these are something that I want you to write about your protagonist. Okay, now we're going to start gaming again. You're going to get another five minutes of gaming. And right now, I want you to focus on your supporting characters. Now, you're still trying to play the game, but I want you to focus on what other people are doing. Maybe David's trying to elude someone. Maybe you're trying to find someone. Maybe you're trying to hurt someone, someone or someone's trying to hurt you. I'm sorry, someone else is trying to hurt you. Focus on what your other teammates are doing. And this is going to be your basis for your supporting character. It's going to be your basis for their personalities. So you may even want to step it up a notch and see about how you're going to interact with the other people around you. Then glean information about their character, the way they interact with your character, to make your supporting characters. You can do that right now. Okay, so now we're back. All of the boys have played for some time and they encountered one another within the game. So now I want you to look at the part of your graphic organizers where you are writing about supporting characters. So who are your supporting characters? Jace, who is yours? Nathan, Nathan and, and David, because you have two supporting characters. So you have your protagonist and your antagonist. So you didn't encounter David at all? Or you only He's your, here's your, so we're going to also going to, at this point, we're going to pretend like he's an extra character so you can develop your story. Yes. Think about something. I mean, maybe this is a bad example is like walking dead or something like that. Um, but think about how they turn on each other. Like you have the people who are the, the antagonists and then suddenly they're like best friends and they're helping each other out. So think of something like that. So start with the first person who is not your antagonist in your, in your group. And tell me something about your encounter. What did you learn about that character? Did they run away? Did they engage and fight you? If they're willing to fight you, then maybe they're on the side of the antagonist. If they weren't, maybe they helped you. So this might be like your sidekick or your best friend or someone who takes uh, this journey well, with you. Someone killed me. I'm doing computer. No, I'm not computer for it. Okay, well, just well, wait. Games. It's not even supposed to be. Okay, well, now you have your you have another supporting character. So, okay, so tell me, okay, guys, about those characters. Okay, so David tried to engage you in combat. What about you, Jace? Did you find did you meet David or Dylan in your David. You met David and he probably tried to Okay, so David, who did you meet? I met Jace and Nathan. I know, but who was the other person you met that was from the other classroom? Oh, it was Nathan. Okay, was he trying to kill you? Yeah, that's kind of what always happens. Okay, so you can write that in your story. That's this is some things that were happening. So some of you encountered, like Dylan, or Nathan and Jace, you guys encountered friendship between the two of you because you're on the same side. But to David, you may have encountered a foe. So I want you to tell me something about them. Did they run? Did they attack you? You told me those things. Now, based on what you told me, how do you see this person in your mind? Do you see them as super tall? Do you see them with brown hair, brown eyes? What do you see? Give me a description of this person, and then tell me something about them. Okay, David, you are the seeker. Now, when you say the word seeker, I immediately think of something like a Gandalf character, right? 
So you may want to make David David a bad wizard, or maybe you want to turn it on its side. So we are using these character traits to completely pull out of fiction and, and make some, or out of our creativity and make some creative fiction. So Nathan, tell me how you see one of your supporting characters. Okay. No, wait one minute. Okay. Okay, so how did you see him? Like, what is his physical description? Were you going to give him? Tall? Well, the same people. Well, you don't have to describe that person. Um, use your brain. How do you see that person in your brain? If, if, you, if you know that person has those physical traits or those traits. Okay, I like that. Covered in silver. Okay. Now... Tell me something about him. If if you if he's tall, he's covered in silver, and you guys did not try to attack each other. Tell me something about him. Does he like baseball? Does he, um, is he like a Harry Potter person? Is he how old is he? How young is he? Based on that description you gave me, what would you say, Dylan? I mean, Nathan, why does it sound Dylan? Okay, so you think he's older? Okay. So those are the thing, those are the connections that I want you to make based on how you see something. When I say, what do you think when I say Thor? You, lightning. Strong, Three. lightning, what else? Quick. Quick, okay. So what I want to do is reverse that, not give you a name, and give you character traits and have you picture that person in your brain. And then you tell me what it looks like. Make sense? Okay. So we're going to pause it again and you guys are going to start playing again. And this final one focuses on plot. So you are going to focus on your strategy to get through, okay? And how you encounter other people. Now, it will be useful to you to listen to something they say while you're gaming. Because you could use that in your dialogue even. So you may begin again. And I'm going to pause this while you do that. Okay. So you guys get your graphic organizers back out. You've done some more um, time on this. So the area that we have left is the plot. Nope. The area that we are working on right now is the plot. So I want you to tell me what happened during your, your time doing this. What did you choose to do? What did to do right? What did you choose to do wrong? And I want you to think about a plot. I want you to think about all you know about a plot. We know that there's the beginning, and then there's rising action, there's a climax, there's falling action, and then there's a resolution. And I want you to talk about your journey. I want you to write about, if you were going to use this gaming experience to write a story with you as the protagonist, what would your story look like? How did you do? Did you start out the bad guy and become a good guy? Were you a good guy and became a bad guy? Were you a good guy the whole time that we're being attacked? During this time, you're going to want to think about, we talked a little bit about you wanted horror, you wanted mystery, you wanted comedy. Think about how you want that to play out. And begin writing what your plot would be. If you were writing a story based on this, what would it be? And if you guys have some stuff writ written down and you're willing to share it, I'll take it. So, Dylan, you wanted a horror story. Nathan wanted a horror story. You wanted comedy. What did you want? You wanted horror. So what about comedy, Nathan? What did you come up with? Okay. So I like that. So you, st you started out with a game of hide and seek and then everything turned on its side and that's how you bring in the, the comedy aspect of it. So there's lots of movies, lots of books that do exactly this. Start out with something structured. Like think about um, some of the, I, I, maybe it's RV is what it's called, but I can't remember. It's a movie where they start out, they're going to have this wonderful vacation and then everything goes crazy. 
and it's super funny. Yes, so that's a good plot. You can run with that. What about you? You want a mystery. What do what you got? Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, so his synopsis is a mystery, and he said that he would um, kill someone and then have someone later come looking for him, kind of like a hide-and-seek type thing, which is actually what they're playing on Minecraft. So it's a really, really good plot. You put together something that you can put together based on this, and that's the whole point of the activity. David, did you have something you wanted to share? They chased me and I put the wrong turn into a dead end. Then it happened. Near this came under came. And under the nest we heard something. A joint went by. Okay. He looked so he is taking that. he is my this my um horror story and he's taking starting with um, hiding and seek, and then they, he takes a wrong turn, and he ends up in trouble, someone after his life. So, we have comedy, we have mystery, we have horror, and all of this from one game, but all of you have a different take on it. And so you have very good foundations. If we were going to continue this unit, we would move forward writing with something like this and keeping these characters together. Really good job, guys. I'm very pleased with what you did. Now, last but not least, I want you to think about a title. Titles are important. They can make or break whether or not we want to purchase a book or read an article or anything. So think about good titles for this. Thanks, guys.